This jumper's very 80s, isn't it? Hey. This jumper is very 80s style. It is very 80s. Is it nice thinking like you've got a girlfriend from the 80s? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like the fact that you're from the 80s. Um, I don't know how to even introduce what this film is. Oh, God. It's called Pleasure. Oh, no. It's a Swedish, French, Dutch film, I think. Oh, God, it sounds like it's going to have sex in it. It might do. Um, and it's a warts and all. That's a terrible oh. use of a phrase. <laughs> it's, it's this all... is getting worse by the second. Do I have to watch this? Well, it was at the Sundance Film Festival. Oh, right. It, yeah, no, exactly. Could it be? Could it be? Well, anyway, it tries to throw a magnifying glass on what? over <laughs> warts. Oh. No, over the porn industry. Oh. Okay. So it's it, but it's from the perspective of a young a young woman. Uh, who goes from Sweden uh, to LA to enter the porn industry. I mean, you know, there's quite well-traversed well, territory if you think of Boogie Nights and stuff like that. You know, there have been many films about this. And it's it's whether it walks the line where actually it's just another way to give everybody a tease or whether it is really looking and doing something important. Well, and therein lies, I think, the success or not of this trailer. Thank you. It's an official Red Band trailer, which suggests it could be a little bit... Just thinking suggestive. back... Yeah to one of my favourite films for showing us the horror of sex and how it can go wrong and yes. domination and rape and abuse without ever showing us a single frame of it. And what film was that? Oh, uh, Promising Young Woman, was it? What was it was called, Promising Made by a female director. Yeah, very and true. And we didn't see anything gratuitous and it scared the hell out of us, repulsed us in all the ways it should do, without anyone having Showing to us. be titivated by it. Yeah, you're right. I think this is directed by the woman... It, it, she made a short film about this in 2013. So this is a build-up to a, a feature. She's turned it into a feature film. Okay. Um, so should we check it out? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Why am I putting um, my glasses on? My God, you look just like the guy from Up. Okay, I'm going to take them off. Really, can you see without them? As long as I don't have to read. Oh, right, okay. Let's see. If, I don't know if it's subtitled <laughs> or not. Pictures up. Are you ready? Oh. Yep. Action. Hi there. Hi. What is your date of birth? 27th of April, 1999. Do you know what you're here for? Yes. Go ahead, tell us about yourself. I want to be the best. No, no, no. Not the leg, no. The foot. And open the knee. All right. Elbows like this. And then for the butt shot. Guys, look at you. You got a little butt on you. Are you ready to make a banana happy? Oh my god. He's the natural. Just give me a little tap and that means like chill out. Yeah, she definitely can't tap you. I found my niece. Like I'm very submissive. Oh, then why do you want to go to the bitch all the time? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take over this shit. <laughs> Don't you want to see anything else in L.A. besides a porn set? No. What really drew you out here? Because this is a long way from home. Hello? Him. Hey, I'm just out here because I want to fuck. This is your life, Linnea. You book without agents? You're the one in charge. What if I would do it for free? And when you really want something. You can do anything. Everybody's gonna want to be booking you for crazier and crazier shit. It's you and me. No. You and the fuck. the passion. When the yeah. camera came on, you were like... I love being in front of the camera. I love having people watching me. Look at me! I'm here to be the next big porn star. That was intriguing because she's Very kind of wanting it, yeah. really wanting it, and really yeah, wanting to succeed. Not everyone that works in the sex industry doesn't want to work in the sex industry. But then it begs but the question: Does she really out, want to? And then we're going to find out, hopefully, where the fuck up was yeah. in what happened. Yeah, she clearly is someone who's willing to keep going to the next level because even other people around her are saying you're going to get booked for worse and worse stuff. Horrific. Horrific. And I thought it was kind of, thank God it didn't show too much. I'll tell you, well, yeah, it did that very well. I mean, yeah. got a sense of it. Um, 
I tell you, it's really weird, but I could almost, I was so distracted because the girl in it is identical to somebody from um, um, The Only Way is Chelsea. But do you think it was weird when she Stephanie. said, don't you want to see something more than LA? And she said, no. No. That's quite dark. But what about, but what about if it's just her quirk? Maybe that's why I it's mean, called... if that's her kink, and her kink is to be submissive beyond any kind of... Not everyone that's got the kink of being submissive or being... What's the other one? Uh, vulnerable? No, not the opposite, submissive. Uh, uh, dominant. Do Dominatrix. Not everybody is there because they've had something dreadful happen to them. Sure, it's but... just because that's what turns them on. Exactly. She's arrived from Sweden wanting to do this. But how she much wants to be the biggest... How much does any woman want to do it? But maybe that's but why... But there's an awful lot of power in people desiring you in that way. Yes, I guess so. And there's a fame trap, and mm. there's different kinds of fame traps. So True. I'm quite interested that it's coming from that angle. I'm actually... The fact that we're having this much discussion off the back of this trailer... And, clearly, is... in the name, the title of the film, Pleasure, it's playing on the double-edged double -edged sword, double -edged sword of that, isn't it? What double-edged sword? Men's pleasure, but is she finding it pleasurable? Is there pleasure for her? There's pleasure for yeah. her in it, yeah. but there's pleasure for men. So it's a double, it's a double play. Yeah. I think it's pleasure for a lot of people in it. 